Hi folks, it's John Neisman from LastChanceAutoStore.com and today I'd like to share with you one of the projects we've been working on. Um, kind of a rare truck, had a lot of fun doing it and it's going to be available for sale. This is a 1955 GMC uh, second series pickup truck and this is a half ton. Uh, we purchased this vehicle in the U.S. We bought it in Texas actually and had it brought up. Um, it's got a nice patina on it. Um, I'll share with you some of the things that we did. The, the, the biggest thing that we did was powertrain. This vehicle would have ca uh, came originally with a Pontiac V8 motor, low compression, with a three on the tree. It was uh, it was changed. Someone had put a 400 small block in it, um, but it wasn't rebuilt properly, and the motor was blown. So we bought the vehicle with a blown motor, um, but a fairly solid body. So what I'd like to do is share with you, I'd like to lift up the hood and show you what we did, because what we did is we replaced the engine with a nice small block Chevy. So we've rebuilt the engine, uh, we changed the transmission to a 350 turbo automatic, uh, we did a um, nice header, high polished header system, and a complete dual exhaust from front to back. We kept it tasteful in terms of sound, it's not overly loud, smaller pipes, uh, we went with a, a medium sounding thrush muffler, so at idle and normal driving conditions, it's not overly loud, it's not a rumbling on the inside of the cabin, however, if you accelerate heavily, then the baffles kick in and the thrush mufflers will give you a little more sound. So um, I'm just going to lift up the hood here and we'll take a look at underneath on how we finished it off. So you'll see it has the original looking radiator, it's been recorded at one time. And then we've got the small block uh, motor and it's been properly rebuilt and we put a little bit of a chrome accent kit on it. Uh, the firewall needed a little more work so we had to cut into the tunnel and give it a little more room for the distributor assembly. It's now an electronic ignition as opposed to the old style with the coil and points and so on. So um, it's built as an everyday driver kind of thing just to have fun and scoot around with. Um, you'll also notice on the passenger side, I don't know how often you've seen them, but those little trumpets down the side is a kit that we purchased uh, just to have some fun with the horn. It's the Dixie horn from the Duke boys. So. Uh, just have a little bit of fun because the truck's from Texas. We thought, you know what, have a little bit of fun with it and add that. So we'll we'll play that tune for you uh, near the end of the video. So you can see the engine's been done quite nicely. Um, and then in terms of the brakes, we've we've maintained the the four-wheel drum brakes. They were all heavy duty. Uh, we replaced the shoes, wheel cylinders, drums, lines, and cables. So everything is brand new there. Uh, you'll notice the tires are virtually brand new. They're a Goodyear Tracker, and they're an all-season radial tire. So uh, in terms of safety and so on, everything has been done properly. Um, in terms of body work, this truck was originally a forest green color, and I'm guessing probably 10 or 12 years after the truck uh, came out, so somewhere mid-60s probably, someone had sanded it down and painted this, this uh, gray color. And this is all the natural patina um, from the hot sun in Texas along the front hood. Sorry, I'll close the hood. Um, so this is your natural patina all the way on the, on the hood and the fenders and so on and on the tops of the door. So it gives it a nice rustic look. Some people would refer to this as a Resto Mod look. I personally don't like the name Resto Mod because it falls into a category where someone will take a rotten truck and it'll have a really scabby interior and lots of holes in the body. They'll paint it flat black or paint it an odd color and just automatically call it a, a Resto Mod. Uh, this particular truck is extremely solid. The floors are all original. The inner rocker panels are all original. However, uh, you can see the restoration that we did on our video. Um, there were some holes in the lower door. There was a little hole in the cab corner. And what we had done is we cut out all the old rusted metal. We welded in new pieces, uh, refinished it close, a little bit of body smoother, and then primer, and we left it like this. Um, so you'll see all the patches that we did on our video, the complete restoration is on the lastchanceallrestore.com website. Um, but we just wanted to have the, the, the rustic look of the vehicle. And then we added just a few decals, but if you look on the inside, uh, we did a couple of neat things. Uh, you'll see that the gauges are upgraded, and uh, I don't know if you can pan in on that. But you've got the auto meter gauge set, so we've got amperage, fuel, uh, speedo, 
and uh, I believe the oil pressure also. And then we've got the uh, gear shifter down on the floor for the automatic, which is hooked up to the Turbo 350. Uh, we added a POR 15 paint on the floor, and then we added a sound deadener, and then we bought the upgraded thick pile carpeting, so it's got the complete carpet set. The door panels, they originally just came uh, body colored or gray color uh, tin, and what we did is we upholstered it with a black vinyl leather look, if you will, and then used stainless steel hardware. Um, we replaced all of the window channels, the window regulators, door handles, door seals, so it's going to be fairly quiet inside, um, and all the weather strips are also tinted the windows. So we need to place them there. The seats have been reupholstered, and then we've got a little bit of upholstery up in the roof also. So this is kind of uh, just a fun uh, drive it around in the summer. but tasteful and then um, we also redid the floor box it, uh, it did have its original wood in the box and um, we replaced all of it with brand new pine so what we did is um, is we removed all of the all of the hardware and the metal strips um, we got brand new pine and we stained and barathane and uh, five coats the top and the bottom should last quite a long time. We use this hardware and then we use black paint to finish the wall on the inside and we just paint the wall on the outside. So you notice the black paint on this one seems like a little bit better than the first side. There won't be any water leaks or any problems there. Um, and then this is the deluxe model in 55 second series truck where you notice it has the chrome accent along the roof line, along the belt line. Um, and then it comes around the full uh, cab style here. And then on the uh, on this side, you can see once again, we've done obviously the door panels and the carpeting. So it, it's been done uh, quite nicely. We've, we've done some work along here and also along the door, which once again you can see on the website. Um, so it's just, all in all, it's a fun truck. And uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. You can see some of the patches that we, we did on the bottom of the door. The nice thing with this truck is just the car to drive it just the way it is. Just for this quick look. Uh, it's ready and we're going to be ready for sale soon to get the safety inspection done. Um, or if someone would rather have it finished, the policy is on square.com. can refinish the body and paint it whatever color the client would like. So it's entirely a choice. It's up to you. So thank you once again for reviewing this video. Uh, I'm John Eisman from LastChanceAutoStore.com.